Thank God. And good afternoon. Another Tuesday, our uh, message is rather for um, praise God uh, Tuesday uh, encouragement and hope message. Thanking God, our Creator, for another day that He has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. As the Holy Spirit delivered uh, once again a message of encouragement and hope, I give honor to our Father, uh, His only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ, our Savior, and the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To our pastor and bishop, Howard B. Willis Jr., I'm also Ray Coley Sr., one of God's servants and one of his associates at the Greater Mount Pensacola Baptist Church, where we serve, where we continue rather to serve God in the spirit of excellence. Hallelujah. Today, as the Holy Spirit has led me, to this book of Ezekiel, the uh, starting in that short book of that 15th chapter, we find mission and instructions that God spoke to his servant Ezekiel with warning to the people of Israel. Ezekiel 15, one through three, uh, it says, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is the vine tree more than any tree, or than a branch which is among the trees of the forest? <clears throat> Shall wood be turned, be taken rather, thereof to do any work? Or will men take a pen of it to hang any vessel thereon? This chapter is full of questions from God to his servant Ezekiel, which support God's heart of concern for Jerusalem and a warning as well. The chapter is filled with questions from God to his servant Ezekiel, we support God's heart of concern for Jerusalem and the warning as well. Praise be to God. Uh, a must read as we attempt to uh, unwrap what God's message is unfolding to his servant. In verse six, the Lord God reveals what his major concern was. So he speaks to the man of God and he said, as the vine tree among the trees of the forest, which I have given to the fire for fuel, so will I give the inhabitants of Jerusalem and I will set my face against them. They shall go out from one fire and another fire shall devolve them. I'm sorry. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I set my face against them. And I will make the land desolate because they have committed a trespass, says the Lord God. In this chapter 15, the, message, the messages given to Ezekiel provide evidence that God was going to destroy Jerusalem. This first message was about a vine, uh, useless rather at first and even more useless after being burned. The people of Jerusalem were useless to God because of their idol worship. And so they would be destroyed and their city burned. Have you also become dominant, dormant, brother, and unfruitful to God? How can you begin fulfilling 
his plan for you. John, the gospel is recorded by St. John. And chapter 324 says, God is a spirit. And they that worship God must worship God in spirit and in truth. The text after, after says, there was a woman for, that spoke to Jesus saying, I know that the Messiah is coming, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus kindly responded and said unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. Oh, blessed be the name of our God. And in 2 Corinthians 3, 17 and 18, the Bible says, now the Lord is the spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all with unveiled faces, hold, beholding as in a mural, mirror, the glory of the Lord are being transformed unto the same image from glory to glory, just as the spirit of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of God for his precious word. Amen. And in Philippians 3.3, 3, for we are the circumcision who worship God in the spirit, rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in this flesh. Oh my God. Hear what the spirit is saying to the church saints in Ezekiel 16, one. Using the imagery of a young baby growing in maturity of womanhood. God reminds Jerusalem that he raised her from a lowly state to a, a glory, to a great rather glory as his bride. However, she betrayed God and trusted and prostituted herself by seeking alliances with pagan nations and adopting their customs. If we push God aside for anything, even education, family, career, or pleasure, we are abandoning him in the same way. Oh my God, my God. Well, my brothers and sisters, be a useful fruit for God, not a useless vine. According to St. John, the 15th chapter, verse 5, coming out of the NIV version. He says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. My sinner friend and friends, if you don't have a right relationship with God, don't continue to be a useless vine. You can become what God declares in his word. He said, come to me, Jesus said, all you that are laden and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Repent, confess Jesus as Lord, and believe it by faith that God raised him from the dead by faith and ye shall be saved. That's God's word. He pens that down. Romans 10, 9 and 10. Pray, I pray, brother, that this message has been a blessing to you. And if our and to our and, and our ministry of work, let me put that right. If it has been a help to you and encourage you and build your faith. I hope, your faith and hope in Christ Jesus. Hope this message being a blessing to you or the messages that come forth each week. Praise be to God. And feel free to give, to feel free rather, and give support to this ministry with your tithes, offerings, 
as well as monetary donation. We will appreciate you and continue to pray for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Pray that it's been a blessing. Each week we are on Tuesday from 12 noon to 1, which is called our Noonday Bible Study. We would love to have you there. If you're retired or if you're on your lunch break for just that one hour, tune in to us. Look at our website and you will see how to uh, 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 enter from that perspective. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is our associates with a message of encouragement and hope at six o'clock. You are welcome. Uh, 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 you are welcome. We are committed to give you what thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. And each and every Sunday or Friday, I should say, is our Sunday school hour. We are on from 7.30 to 9. Praise be to God. I tell you, God, the Holy Spirit is teaching us some things about ourselves and how our life can be hid in Christ and how we can no longer be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Hallelujah. The word has power and we must study to show ourselves approved unto God that a word person need not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. And on each and every Sunday morning from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. come here the man of God, our own pastor and Bishop Howard B. Willis Jr. Bringing forth some inspiring teaching and some sound doctrine, the power of our in preaching the word of God, Facebook or Zoom. Join in and be blessed. Be safe, everyone. Yes, many states and places are opening up, and many people are attempting to return to some sense of normalcy. But seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And he said, all these things, all these other things, rather, shall be added unto you. Have a heart to please God in all you're doing. Serve him in spirit and holiness and righteousness. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. I hope this message has been a blessing to many in the song. Praise God if it's just one. Praise be to God. I thank God for you. Let us pray. Dear Father God, in the name of Jesus, your beloved Son, our precious Savior, it is by the Holy Spirit that we do come at this hour as we in make an encounter with you. We first of all want to say, Lord, if we have sinned by any means, omission or commission, Father, word or deed, please forgive us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And we, Father, thank you, O God, for being, Lord God, our protector, our Lord, our King, our Savior, O God, the Prince of Peace, the mighty God, the mighty Counselor, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We pray at this hour, Lord God, that the sick will be healed, and Father, all illness of affliction will be made whole, whether it be in the hospital, sister living, nursing home, or at home. Praying, dear God, for this country, Lord God, to come in full circle of your unity, whether it be Democrat, Republican, or independent or otherwise, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father, Lord God, this world and this country, Lord God, people are watching, people are looking. Father, leaders must be conformed, not conformed, but transformed to the word of God and live in a life that's pleasing unto God, that Lord, each one reach one may cause one to not to have any more stumbling blocks in their life, but yet to see the exemplification of a true disciple of God being transformed and walking by faith and not by sight. Father, we thank you, Lord God, and we ask your blessing to be upon each and every one under the sound of my voice, praying, oh God, that someone will will allow this message, Lord God, to enter their heart and say, oh my God, I yield, I yield. What must I do to be saved? No, we must repent of our sin, as Mark said, because the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. 
which is the good news of Jesus Christ, our Lord. We thank you, O God, that after repentance, Lord God, your word says in Romans 10, 9 and 10, 9 and 10, if thou confess with thy mouth and believe in thy heart that God has raised Jesus Christ from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I pray you there be one today. You may not do it, Lord, be in the church right now. But I pray to God that as you heard this message and have and you have heard the way of the Romans road to get to Christ. I pray, oh God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that that has inspired you and you have a desire to come closer to God to obtain that special relationship that he desired of you. Father, we thank you, we bless you, and we call this done in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Love you all. Hope to be back with you on next week with another message as the Holy Spirit leads and God. Have a blessed day now. Be safe. God bless you.